there are two different elements. When we talk about a universal benefit, we understand that some people think it would have been a more simple solution. First of all, it would not have been more simple than managing um, the CERB. It's, it's not uh, as easy as uh, saying we're going to send out a check to each uh, Canadian regardless of their age or their region. It's more complex than that. And secondly, and the most important reason, we chose to help we chose to help those who required assistance. Our measures from the beginning recognized that there are some people who lost their job, lost their income because of COVID nineteen not through any fault of their own, but that they require revenue to pay for their groceries, to support their family, to pay for their rent. That is why we chose to go ahead in a targeted, rapid fashion to put in place what was necessary to help these people in dire need. That is what we did. We see that over 8 million Canadians are now receiving the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, and we've just announced a benefit for students. And there will be other announcements to help other people as well. Yesterday you said you would proceed with gun control legislation at the appropriate time. We've seen other countries, Australia, New Zealand, act very quickly after mass shootings. Why do you think this isn't the appropriate time? And do you not believe the Parliament can't deal, even in their limited form, with two pressing issues at the same time? Uh, we are certainly looking at uh, reintroducing or introducing our uh, new gun control measures that were ready to go before Parliament was suspended of the COVID uh, because of COVID-19. Uh, the uh, rules around the unanimous consent motion that uh, governs the return of Parliament in a reduced state specifically state that we need to uh, only introduce measures that are related to COVID-19, uh, but we will certainly be seeing with other parties if there is an appetite to move more quickly given, uh, given the measures in place, given the, the tragedy uh, that we just had. We were nearly ready to introduce our new measures with regards to gun control, and uh, we are prepared to go ahead with these. The conditions, though, for the Parliament to sit in a limited fashion right now do require that uh, the bills that are tabled only have to do with measures to fight against COVID-19. We are open with discussing with other uh, parties to see if there's an appetite to go ahead uh, more quickly, even during this period of crisis, to um, tighten up gun control measures. Things that have been done in other countries, uh, particularly Australia after the Port Arthur massacre in 1996. Are you willing now to revisit the, the measures that are before Parliament and strengthen them, uh, particularly with regard to ownership of restricted weapons like handguns and certain kinds of uh, semi-automatic rifles? Uh, we made some very strong commitments in the last election campaign on strengthening gun control. We saw there was a significant debate in this country that continues uh, between parties that are in favor of strengthening gun control and other parties that uh, want to weaken gun control. Uh, there continues to be a need for debate in this country, but we are resolute that we need to move forward on strengthening gun legislation, on strengthening gun control uh, in uh, smart, common sense ways, and on on banning uh, assault-style weapons from this country. They have no place uh, in our communities, in our country, and that's why we will be moving forward with legislation to ban them. Hi, Prime Minister Tom Perry with CBC. Uh, you said in your announcement you're making 76,000 jobs for young people uh, and that these placements are going to be in sectors that need an extra hand right now and are on the front lines of the pandemic. Can you clarify where that's going to be? I mean, we've heard from farmers who need help. We've heard about contact tracing, meeting people there. Where are these students going to be working? Uh, these are the kinds of things we're looking at. We're looking at uh, help on contact tracing. We're help, uh, looking at uh, sectors that need uh, extra support, perhaps agriculture and others. Uh, there are uh, a number of uh, ways that we're looking at it right now. Uh, we will have more to say in the coming days as we develop this. But we know young people want and need uh, good summer jobs. and. Uh, uh, we're going to try and uh, make sure that they can get them. And you talked uh, earlier about uh, seniors' homes and the, the, the tragedy unfolding there. The government has announced um, support for, for uh, essential workers there. I'm wondering, has there been much buy-in? Is that actually helping anyone yet? And as you look further ahead,